detail on our end uh, as players uh, not paying attention enough to stop their runs with the threes and everything but some way somehow we found a way to win, oh, to win the game and we just got to go back and look at them and make sure this never happens again. How did Coach Holton address the dead half time with the run that they closed the first half of? He was just telling us that they're hitting too many shots and what they were feeling the second time as far as like they didn't feel like we're on D and we weren't in their face enough so after the uh, after Musa blocks that dunk gets called for the foul, they hit those two free throws. It was an eight point game, and then you guys go on uh, like a twenty seven nine run. Was that play the was it a spark for you guys? If so, why? Keyshawn, we didn't think it was a foul, but because he went up there and challenged the big man, in our eyes, it was a block. And then also Dre went down as well. You see all that factored in uh, that 27 line. Caleb, any update on your brother? Oh, he's going to be good. He ain't nothing wrong with that. Has he ever lost to you before? Oh, we both lost to you before. <laughs> he, he's lost to the South. <laughs> Everything. So he's used to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, for. For three straight games now, you always won all three, but at the end of the first half, the opponents saw a, a decent run. Minnesota not quite as good as Illinois and Tennessee, but still, you had leads and they, they brought it back in and took the lead themselves before the break. Are you seeing anything consistent, <coughs> consistent over the last three games with how you're closing out the first halves that that needs to change so you, you stop getting one? Uh, I think it's halves, period. I feel like towards the end of halves, we, we either get passive or we're just trying to close it out. So we're just trying to get to the halftime or get to the end of the game. I feel like we need to stay more aggressive going into halftime and going into the end of the game. Keyshawn, does that fall? I know Caleb is a leader on this team too, but you're, you're a guy who's been around and played a lot of basketball. Does that fall on a guy like you to make sure the team's in the right mindset when you're trying to close out a half? Yeah, definitely. Especially uh, in the game or out of the game, I got to make sure that everybody's on the same page when it comes to get stops, uh, defense, uh, details, and all that. So that's definitely on the both of us when it comes to the uh, first half. And People on the runs. what about the, what your uh, defense did with their three in the second half? Because up until their last couple of them, in the final minute, they were they were scrounging. Uh, it was pressure on the ball more. You know, we put more pressure on the ball, so they couldn't make pinpoint passes to how they was in the first half. So with pressure on the ball and that everybody rotating and actually closing out, they kind of stopped their rhythm a little bit. And you had two threes and a, and a, and a two. In that one stretch that pretty much gave you breathing room. Could you talk about what you were doing at that stage? Uh, my teammates were finding me and I was just making shots. Uh, uh, they kept looking for me, so I was just trying to do my job with open shots. Keyshawn, you're not a part of the normal starting lineup, but you play starter minutes for the most part. Is there a different approach you take knowing that you're not starting the game, but you know you're going to be out there for 25 or 30? Uh, that's something I've been doing my whole career, you know, coming off the bench and playing starting minutes. Uh, my approach is come in the game, do it, uh, do whatever I can to help the uh, team. For the tonight, it was uh, that, helping with that stretch, and scoring a little bit, if not taking charges, defense and stuff. Uh, regardless, I just feel like starting or not, I'm fine because I know what I, I can help bring to the team. Is there any benefit to it? I guess you get to see the game from a different perspective, starting off the ball. Uh, the way I look at it is my job is to bring a spark to this team off the bench. Caleb, it might be weird to answer this question, but with, with, with him sitting next to you, but what kind of calmness, I guess, does maybe Keyshawn bring when things might start to be going <coughs> going south for you guys? The last two games, it seems like when things have been at their worst, Keyshawn's come in and hit a couple of big shots. Do you feel that when he's in the game and things might be going south for you guys? Yeah, he definitely calms everybody down. You know, he just, because he's played a lot of basketball, he's been there, he's been down down and came back and he's been down and all that. So just him being there and telling us what to do and helping us calm down, keep everybody tight in the circle, it helps a lot. Keyshawn, do you, did you know kind of coming into the season that that would be 
kind of the role that you would play, or is this something that's just kind of evolved in the course of the last month or so? Uh, I'd say that's something that's pretty much just evolved. Uh, and that's a, that's part of being a leader, you know? Um, and that's something me and Coach Hope talked about. You know, he wanted me to be more vocal, so when things going, going on like it has the past few games, I've always, I done stepped up the past few games, you know, talking and making sure Big Fella calmed down, making sure uh, our point, our guards, our freshmen, like making sure everybody leveled it. Cause it's a long game. They gonna go, they gonna go on a run, we gonna go on a run. They, gonna, they may go on another run, we gonna go on another run. So making sure everybody calm is something I try to do for the team. Couple more. Okay, what you did a little bit of everything. It's in the Supreme Court says early on, some defensive plays. What part of your game do you think is coming the farthest in these first 10 games of the season? Um, I feel like I'm passing better than I did at the beginning of the season, but I'm still turning the ball over way too much in my eyes. Um, I have four assists, but I also have four turnovers, so I need to clean up my turnovers. Though. Is that the an area where Coach Holton is wanting you to do more? Or what, what, if I asked him, what, what are you guys talking about to get your game to that next level? Is it the passing that he's talking about with you or something else? Yeah, it's too many turnovers. Yeah, I'm, tur I'm turning the ball over way too much in these stretch of games we've had. You shown uh, their coach said that you seemed to know what they were going to run in that last possession that they had. How prepared were you guys for the, that last like, 14 seconds on that turnover? Well, well, uh, because I was talking to one of the players, I knew they wanted to end the game, so they have a certain play that they like to run when it comes to the baseline drips and trying to get that shooter to come off. And number 11 had just hit a uh, hit that three on my mistake, so I wasn't happy with it. Was it, did any of that factor into you had some experience against them? Did, did, did that allow you to have more insight into what they're going to do? I knew some of the players when I played in the lake. Um, and like I told them, you know, the kids, they tough. Like all their players are tough. And they're not going back down and they're going to keep fighting and fighting until the end. And that's exactly what they did. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh.